Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to play a klezmer tune with the mysterious title of 740. So the first question, how did it come by a title such as 740? So the story that I've heard, and that I think is the best of the stories that I've heard, is that this tune is from Odessa, and that the 740 was the train that left on a Friday evening carrying all the businessmen from Odessa to their country homes back in the 19th century. And uh, this, it was decided by uh, a set of bandits that this was the train to rob, and so they did indeed rob the 740 from Odessa which I think is a great story. I learned this story from um, Vladimir Azriev, and indeed I learned the tune from him. When I first moved down to London, one of the first uh, really interesting jobs I got was playing with him every Friday night in a, um, a restaurant in Hampstead. He was playing violin, I was playing guitar accompanying him and secretly learning all of his repertoire. And um, he showed me this version, which is um, five parts and mostly people only play either two parts or three parts. So whether he added uh, these parts himself or whether um, this was the way it was always played in Odessa, I really don't know. But, but I think he's uh, certainly some kind of source, if not the most reliable. He was the kind of guy, he was very mysterious and I never knew, for example, whether he was a gypsy or whether he was Jewish or whether he was Ukrainian or Russian. Well, he was certainly one of the latter two, anyway. Um, Back in the 80s, it didn't, it didn't make any difference whether you were Ukrainian or Russian, but nowadays it does make rather a lot more difference. But anyway, I'm going to show you uh, slowly the first uh, two sections to start with. So, we're in A minor, and we're going... out that a lot of people in the second bar um, make it an F chord and do this, which um, kind of softens it a bit and uh, it makes it slightly more interesting I suppose, but I, d I don't like that, so I like to stay in the, the A minor. Then we go to uh, a C chord for the second, second section, to, and it comes one, uh, um, an eighth note after the bar, two, three, four, one. flat which is a, a common trick for um, klezmer tunes that are in the natural minor. Then we've got the C section which some people play and some don't. down that phrase, I would always use my fourth finger rather than stretching the third, because it's liable to be pulled out of tune if you use your third finger. Then uh, next section, so that's the second finger stretched up. Play 
uh, the C has a little uh, two note chord to lead back into that which is the, the B section. The, the section we've just done uh, is a good one for klezmer ornamentation, um, mostly downward slides. So on all of those, and you can also do some krechts. So I'm just flicking the fourth finger on. And if you want to do some train effects, there's quite a few places where you can double up. When you get to the end, um, repeat. Quite a few interesting versions of this on YouTube where the band starts off really quite slow uh, with various train effects and then speed up, so that's quite a nice effect. I'm going to go through the whole tune slowly uh, and then once more fast. then do send me an email. Uh, find my email address at the bottom of the description and I will send you a PDF with the dots. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.